What is going on everybody? Patrick Quick here. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute. Life caught up to me. Work and being a dad and learning how to use the airbrush to create some awesome lures uh, because the bite's just not been on anywhere I've been out. Um, so that's why there hasn't been any content for a minute. So I apologize for that. But I'm back and today I've got an unboxing from Crank Honey Custom Lures and New Hope Lures. And I'm going to show off some of the things that I've been working on here. Um, painting wise so we'll go ahead and start off with those so this is a newer one that I just did this is my first take on a bluegill pattern it's kind of like a bluegill slash red breasted sunfish combo thought it turned out pretty good then this is my crackle fire tiger just playing around with layering paints then this is one of those uh, lures that I found at the river. This is an old shad wrap. And I sanded the eyes down and gave it a cat eye and made it in my cutthroat crappie pattern. That's what this is. Then I have the Waso shad or bone shad. That's my take on it. At least my first attempt at one. And this is one of my favorites. This is the Dragon Fruit Shad, because that is the name of that paint, is Dragon Fruit. Got a nice belly on there, transition that fade into the pink. A nice shad dot on there, and the black top. So that's a few of the things that I've been working on. Now we're going to go ahead and look at what Crank Honey Customs had sent. Uh, I bought a lure from her on an auction for my wife. Um, my wife already opened this package, but I haven't peeked into it, so that's why the top's off. But I'm going to go ahead and look at it myself now. Alright, so this is the one that I bought. It looks like she gave me an extra one. This is from Crank Honey Customs. This is Amy's work, and it's absolutely beautiful. It kind of reminded me of an opal, the way that the color was on the camera with like the purple and the see-through but I'm digging that color and this is the one that I had bought from my wife just as a surprise she likes to fish do and collect lures so the hand painted ones are really awesome and I really really like that paint job <laughs> I got glitter bombed This is a little glitter bomb bait, a little diving bait. Completely covered in glitter. That is that is awesome. So Ron, I got glitter bomb, but I didn't get glitter bomb where the glitter got everywhere. <laughs> Speaking of Ron, we're gonna go ahead and open, open his package now. And uh, it's been through the ringer. I think uh, my mail person kicked it up to my house. So hopefully everything in here is good to go. Ah, oh, cool. Got a little bit of colored tissue for Christmas. Oh, yeah. So here's the hardware, and this is a homemade wooden lure that Ron made for me to paint. It's got his signature on there. Really, really beautiful work. I can't wait to get painting onto this, figure out what I want to do for it. This is going to be a musky pike hunter. And then, clean up this stuff a little bit. These are variants of the quick response. So here we have a OG. There's the quick response original pattern. Since I had broke the tail off my other one, he hooked me up with another version of the original. Oh, this one's awesome. It's got a foiled side to it, and it's got like that tiger striping pattern that he does. 
Oh, and he wrote a quick response fishing underneath the chin of it in red. That is awesome. QRF, that's awesome. And I like the way that it blends into that foil too and gives it that sheen. That is a really cool take on quick response. You got one of those hybrid cranks here. This one's really awesome too. This one's got more of like a darker top fading into black into a blue tail with those red highlighted gills and those pink eyes. It looks like, I don't know if those are actual eyes that he has or if he hand painted those. Those are, those look like he might've hand painted them. Yeah, really nice work. <laughs> this one's really awesome. These. It looks like it has glass eyes, so they're bubbled out, which is really cool and unique. And that trap looks really, really awesome in that color. I dig that. I like the big blotchier pattern that he has on there. Kind of makes it look more, more like a scaling crackle. That's really, really cool. Then we got a big one. This is a uh, get itself caught up in the bag here. This is a musky lure. He uh, did a live stream where he showed off one that looked kind of like a, a manatee that he did, and it looked really really cool. He even added the moss to it and stuff like that. And uh, this is really cool. He matched the tail to the front with a little bit of red, and then it's got that quick response with that big shiny fleck in there. Looks like you can rig it to where it's more shallow and it'll dive a little bit more. And I could put another treble on there if I wanted. Really, really awesome, awesome looking bait. Another one that's gonna be one to go to Pike Lake with and see if I can't smash one of the bigger ones in there. And last but not least, we have this one here. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the one that he kind of hinted at glows in the dark which is really cool, like a UV. I wonder if I hit it with a black light, if it would like super highlight. I have a black light, I just don't have the ability to hook it up right now. But I'm gonna have to do that later on and check it out. Maybe I'll uh, videotape it in, on uh, my phone for Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram at Patrick underscore quick 2100, uh, when I find that black light, and black light and hook it up, I'll show it off on there. But this is absolutely cool. I love the way that turned out. Just something different and unique. It definitely glows. I can see it in my hand. The body turns green. So yeah, that's the unboxing from Crank County Custom Lures and New Hope Lures. Uh, Amy and Ron, thank you so much for the amazing uh, work that you did. And also, I hope you enjoyed the little bit of stuff that I made myself. There's more of that to come. And uh, yeah, as always, thanks for sticking with me and I will catch you all later.